While inflation has shown signs of cooling, there are still some areas of the economy with climbing expenses, like the price of groceries. Reports show we are spending more of our income on groceries than ever before. So is there any relief in sight? Our Kelsey Gibbs spoke with some shoppers who remain hopeful, but they'll believe it when they see it. I do like cereal, but I, I haven't bought a name brand cereal in quite a while. If you've been to the grocery store lately, you probably have found yourself cutting back on some of your favorite items. I can't justify $17 for one steak. Mm -hmm. So uh, that, that's the only thing that I've really cut back on is beef. By the end of 2023, shoppers were paying nearly 20% more for the same basket of groceries as they were in 2021. This according to the latest data from the Consumer Price Index. Man, I feel sick. <laughs> I don't like spend money and money. I'm like, if it's on food, it's okay, you know, but it don't make sense how much everything just costs nowadays. Despite inflation slowing down, food prices continue to increase, leading to Americans spending the largest percentage of their income on food than they have in 30 years. Like they say inflation supposed to be going down, but I can't tell. But some shoppers say they have to shop around for a good deal. Yeah, I like Compton's. They have everything I need, and they're very kind and, and uh, gracious in there. Compton's Foodland is an independent grocery store. We are extremely fortunate uh, being an independent, uh, or as we like to say, a mom and pop. Um, uh, and this store being here since 1985. Inflation is sitting at 2.8% this month, which is lower than 3.2% last month. It's slowing down, and store manager John Carpenter believes prices of groceries will begin to stabilize this year. The product is becoming more um, available, more prevalent, uh, which in turn al allows manufacturers to offer promotional deals to independents like ourselves, and then we can then uh, take that and pass that along to the consumer uh, in the form of lower prices. Carpenter says the store already offers many deals. He says he can wait until they can offer their shoppers even more. In Nashville, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Another hit to the wallet, restaurants where prices have increased more than 5%.